Uh, Ian, there's a new Kickstarter for, uh, you know, Coleco Holdings LLC, not the original Coleco people. Ah, Coleco Holdings LLC just brings such a warm fuzzy to my yeah, heart. Yeah, uh, oh, it's just, a, just an organic I, lo feeling. I love my holding LLCs. You love your holding LLCs? Yes. They're holding the name hostage, the trademark for Coleco. Well, they did, the, they did their first, uh, their first uh, batch of uh, tabletops. Um, they had their, they had the, obviously their, their failed relationship with the Coleco Chameleon. They had their failed Coleco Expo. And they're trying to find how can we use this name that we shouldn't own uh, in order to make money off of it. And so they were successful with the Rainbow Bright uh, Coleco tabletop uh, alongside uh, the Robo, um, um, Mac, Robo, uh, Robotech. Robotech, which I think was a Game Boy Advance game. Yes. But the Rainbow Bright was an original game that was programmed. I think Frank Safali tweeted about that. There's, a, there's still a guy programming stuff like this. So now there's a second batch, 17 days to go. Uh, this might hit the goal. 17 days left, 65,000 goal. When we record this, it's, it's $16,611. Only 133 backers. I wonder if people want to go in for a second batch of these because the first time it hit the goal, I forget what the goal was offhand. I can look it up, the first goal. But they're doing a, a berserk. They're and, doing So they're uh, doing one. It's Berserk and Frenzy as an all-in-one. However... You can get different. So basically, okay. it, um, I, I love VFD display stuff. Like, I, I'll sit around at night and read Handheld Museum and all that crap. Um, Berserk was originally set to come out along with Omega Race, I believe it was, uh, in 81 or 82. Whenever, before they canceled it? But yeah, they never did. Okay. So um, the red uh, Berserk one is what the original... Um, is more or less what the original uh, arcade um, shell was supposed to look like. So that's your limited edition one. Um, way to go. Sorry, don't. So that's your limited edition one. Then they're obviously doing another one that is Berserk. Uh, it, the, the art is different. Uh, it has both Berserk and Frenzy um, logos on the marquee side of it. And, uh, you know, um, then different side art. But uh, both of them are... Uh, two and ones. Okay. So, um, the evolution of the mini Coleco evolved. This is what's interesting to me is that again, anyone can make these. You don't need the Coleco name to make these. You could come out. If I had the rights to do to the game, I could make one of these myself. I don't need Coleco's involvement. They're trying to push that. It has to be Coleco. It absolutely doesn't. Anyone can make a tabletop, their own tabletop. Sure. They don't, Coleco Holdings doesn't own the, the property of a tabletop. Um, my thought, so I, I was discussing with a friend the other day about this. Um, I, I kind of think the, if, if you were a collector of these and you had all these old ones, the Berserk one in its original shell could be cool to could complete be cool the set. to complete the set. And like if they, especially if they did, it would have been in more interesting to me actually, if they didn't did Berserk and Omega race instead of, you know, two different shells for Berserk. Gotcha. Um, I'm a big I, Berserk fan. I like Berserk. I, I can see Frenzy? I can see why that Frenzy is just the sequel. You've never played Frenzy? I've never played Frenzy. Let me see. Oh, for, I actually played Frenzy first before Berserk. Uh, really? mm -hmm. It was at uh, I, I don't know. It was an arcade machine at some place where I went slutting when I was a kid. Let me see Frenzy. So, I get it from that aspect. It would look pretty cool in the lineup if you have all the original ones in nice condition. In general, though, I, I'm with you. I still don't understand how these sell the way they do. I mean, I, I realize that nostalgia is a powerful drug, but at the base of it, these are a $70. More than 70. The early bird's 79 for the Berserk. That's the early bird, according to this. Oh. $79, and then 89 for the special edition? What the hell's in the special edition? What? Get the, oh, get the special edition is the one that looks like the, uh, looks like what it should have looked like in 81. Okay. I That's see. the special. The edition. red one. Yes, the red one. The, so the red one, seventy nine. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, Jesus, back to what I was saying. Oh, but in general, I don't understand these. They're 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 expensive and they're they're tchotchke. It, they're, to me, it sure. loses a lot of charm when it's on a LC not an LCD screen, and it's one game or in this case two games, well, and they look nice. But I'll tell you what. 
This is a hell of a lot better than the Rainbow Bright one and, and, the, and the Robotech games. Sure, it's cool. Hell, because those, first of all, the Rainbow Bright one was like an adventure game. Who the hell wants to play an adventure game yes. on a little thing? And, and then playing a GBA shooter game on that, it doesn't make any It doesn't even go with the time period. None of them do. At least these are in the time period. Yes, and that's like I said earlier, that's why I kind of understand Berserk a little bit. Um, but you, you threw me off. I'm sorry, Ian. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't let you finish your garbage plate story. I feel um, bad now. What was I saying about this? God damn it. Oh, but other than that, I don't see any charm. It's 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 an LCD screen. It's a plastic shell. Oh, no, there's no you charm You can make at all. it. There's no charm. If these were, and I know you can't, but if, if these were like reproductions of the VFD ones with the vacuum fluorescent displays, at least there would be that interest in look at what we could have done with the stuff. Look at what we did with the stuff back then. If someone look, could produce them, still, yeah. Sure. Look at look at this. This is very interesting. Versus um, faking it with the with the yeah. This LED, this is an LED interesting you know uh, this is an interesting piece of history that has been recreated for you to look at. Um, and I mean, I always enjoyed them. I thought that it was very neat how much they could actually get done with those. Um, some of those oh, are actually sure. pretty fun. I, I was shocked that the original one. First of all, the original ones they were only forty five dollars. So they're doubling the price for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, they're forty five dollars for the Rainbow Bright and the Robotech one. And those, to me, I hated because they had like the like widescreen view. We'd even have like the the regular arcade uh, right. screen perspective. So that was backed by seven hundred and thirty six people got those. Mm. My feeling was either they realized this is not something I'd want to repeat the experience of, or or realize that maybe they weren't that well made. I don't know. But the fact that this is lagging so far, this Kickstarter doesn't bode well. Um, this really would have been the one to start. With. Yes, I was going to say that. I think the goodwill. I think they got whatever cheap game they, they they got the Robotech one, which doesn't make any sense at all. Rainbow Bright doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, for the time period, it does, but it wasn't a game that came out back then. They weren't arcade games. Right. You're, you're, they you're, weren't arcade games. You're throwing a garbage game into a, a fancy looking shell. If you had at least kept with the theme, simplicity. Arcade I think games. if you had kept with the theme, the arcade games, actual arcade games, I think you could have. Um, I, I think that momentum might have been better. Or if you remade a Pac-Man, even get the rights to remake the Pac-Man one. Or the Galaxian, you know what I mean? Like, do something like that, you would have went further. So the only, the only thing I can think of in terms of these ones being more expensive is is maybe the licensing. I, um, okay. And I, I'm not saying uh, it's because Berserk or Frenzy are... Well, they had, they had, to, get, they had to get these made. Well, I they think. had to get them made, but also um, Berserk and Frenzy are Stern, which is still very much around. Who the hell owns the Stern? Who owns the Stern properties? Stern. Stern's still around? I'm Stern Pinball, Pat. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I <Jesus>. forget that. <laughs> Christ. Why did I think about it? They still own the arcade games? Think? Okay. As far as I understand, they still oh, own the rights these, to Oh, they're giving the rights away for pennies. No one cares about Berserk in this day and age, eh, but obviously. Stern, Stern likes to charge for things. I mean, they're a business. I'm just yeah, saying it's probably cheaper than getting the, 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 uh, the rights for a Rainbow Bright thing, you know, uh, 25 years after it means anything. I think they're both dirt cheap, probably, honestly. Um, special edition early backers 79 200 unit limit so they're really they're really charging $90 it's double it shouldn't be double the price that's weird to me they're doing the two pack and they're still but it's two games in one but that's people aren't buying it for the game quantity they're buying no. it for the physical no, object we don't need both of those versions um, and then they're selling uh, the two original Robotech and Rainbow Bright ones for $130, which again, that's like that's like double the price of what they were originally almost. No, I thought I thought they were 70 when they originally came out. I thought there was an early bird backing at like 45 but yes. I thought they were 70 45 bucks. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, early bird. For, for they early bird 86 45 Rainbow Bright 200 Robo, Robotech ones did better, 45. Then they went up to 55. A chunk of them were, you know, a chunk of them were sold at forty five. Oh no, I'm just saying, I'm pretty certain their final selling price was sixty nine ninety nine. Where was it? That, what if store? You ran out it? of all that bullshit. I'm just. I saying, was going to say. I think that was the MSRP, which doesn't mean they followed the, it. But. The MSRP in my mind, my mind's uh, video game store. Ian, there was no, there was no retail store that was. I think I, that's why I said MSRP. <laughs> well, people can't hear the air quotes on the podcast. Yeah, they can hear my sarcasm. Air quotes. Anyway, okay, so I think we both agree that this is a, is it be a cool idea to get the old school one. That's fine. Um, I'm a little bit still disturbed by the um, 
I'm disturbed by the the promo video showing all the old original Coleco stuff that there was a different company that made the original tabletops. Also, it drives me nuts that all of these have default four buttons. Yeah, yes, yes, thank you. That rarely need it. I mean, that's yes. obviously, eh, we're just using this shell. The original Colecos all have different layouts for the most part. Yeah. They all have different. The Pac-Man one's different from Donkey Kong, which is different from Galaxian there. That, to me, loses some of the charm. You're yes, right. it does. But it's cheaper. It's less tooling. It absolutely is. But you would think that, well, for, yeah, you only need one button for a Berserk to yeah. shoot. Right. Should have pawned it up. See, if I was doing this, Ian, sorry, I'm thinking bigger. If I was doing this, I'd have all of them lined up to redo the older properties, get the rights to do it. You probably wouldn't get able to get the Nintendo properties, but you would get the Namco ones, uh, probably, to do them. Well, the Nintendo that, ones, were, were, were those Coleco? Coleco made them. I'm saying you wouldn't be able to get the rights from right, Nintendo okay. again. No, I just wasn't, I, I, I forgot that they... They had their Game and Watch ones, but then they also had Game and Watch ones. I think ones. came after yeah. the Donkey Kong yep. one uh, there, which was which was a great one there. All right, are we moving on, Ian? We're moving from this, on. yeah. So go check out the Kickstarter. Maybe it's a good product, but uh, yeah, if, I don't know how many more of these it can make for people who don't care anymore. 